Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me. I'm a massive Christmas fan and this week is all about Christmas eye looks. So we're going to be doing another one in my Palettes of the Past series today though. And if you're not familiar with my channel or my content, this is a series I do now and again. I think this is the fourth one, don't quote me on that. Uh, where I talk about palettes that were quite iconic at the time and that everybody was talking about and they're from the past because they're maybe three or four years or maybe even older than that so there's not too many people talking about them now because the makeup world moves on so quickly. Today's one of course you know from the title I'm going to be talking about the Too Faced a Gingerbread Spice palette. So we're going to be doing an eye look with this today and I'm going to be doing quite a neutral look for those of you that want something that you can wear on maybe Christmas Day, you're seeing the family or whatever, you don't want to be all out there with colour. Probably will put a bit of a colourful liner in there but I'm not going to make it a, a dramatic or colourful look really. Just want to use this palette again, I really really enjoy this one. So if you want to see me create a neutral look which does not happen too often then please keep on watching. <music> Okay, so the Gingerbread Spice palette then. So this one came out uh, about three years ago, I think. And I remember being super excited to pick this up. I've got a different makeup aesthetic now than I did then. I used to love neutrals back then. And when I saw this and the adorable tin with the Gingerbread Man on, I knew I had to have it. And it was before I had my channel, as I say, it was three years ago. They bought out a uh, Gingerbread Extra Spicy, which really wasn't very much spicier than this one. So I didn't bother with that. It's probably a good thing because I've got a bit of a collector's mentality, but I decided not to get that. And then they've bought out a pumpkin version and a cinnamon swell version as well. So this obviously is a good seller for them. With Too Faced, if they're onto a, a good theme, then they, they keep doing it, don't they? That's kind of what they're all about. But with this palette also came an adorable little card that showed you some, some looks that you could create. When I say that I keep everything to do with packaging, I'm not kidding. I have literally everything that comes with the palette and I keep it forever. So this gives you some eye looks or ideas for eye looks. That one's really, really gorgeous actually there. There's another one on the back as well. And it came in a box, still have the box. So inside you've got lots of warm and toasty colours and it's perfect for the kind of look that you might want to do that's Christmas inspired but not too out there, not too scary if you're seeing family I think. So if you wanted something a bit more neutral but with a hint of colour I think this is the one. Whenever I used to use it I would use reindeer paws kind of in my crease on my outer V and I'd use hot toddy on the lid and that's why I wanted this palette was for that colour. But Today we're going to steer clear of those, we're going to do something different. We're going to use, what's it called, Spice of Life, this kind of greeny tone here, and we're going to use some of the gingerbready shades. Not going to be using any pink, we're going to keep it nice and warm and toasty. So that's the plan for today. Before we get started though, we'll do cheeks together as we've been doing in these videos this week. And if you haven't caught the other videos I've done, I will link them in the cards throughout this video and on the end screen in case you want to catch up. But it's been all festive looks, lots of red and green, so it's nice to do something a bit neutral today. So for blush today, we're going to go in with the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2 from Juvia's Place. And I wanted to create a warm and toasty kind of blush. So we're going to mix Tao and Yara. So these two here. So we've kind of got an orangey, bronzy kind of blush going on. I think it'll be perfect for the, the look that I want to achieve. And I'm kind of using that as contour as well. And on the apples of my cheeks, make everything really warm and toasty, as I say. I've not dipped into this palette for probably a year. I'm quite excited to, to use it today. I haven't done one of these palettes of the past videos in a while. I'm trying to think. I think I did a Juvia's Place one with the nine palettes from Juvia's. I think that was the last one I did. I've done one with the Urban Decay Vice palettes. And I've done one with the Kat Von D shade and light. And it's always fun to revisit these palettes and just get some use out of them. But also sort of talk about them. So when I picked this one up, I was on a shopping trip, supposedly to go and buy Christmas presents. 
and Debenhams was still a shop then. It's sadly gone now as a shop. You can still shop there online, but used to be my haunt for getting makeup at the time. I didn't buy anything online. Saw this, swatched that colour, that hot toddy colour, the pinky ready colour. Oh, and I was just like, I've got to have this palette. So that's how I came to have it. And I did use it a heck of a lot when I first started my Instagram, but I haven't used it a lot since. So I'm going to go in with the Pixie by Petra Subtle Sunrise Highlighter. I'm going to go for the more rose gold shade here. This is a really nice highlight palette as well. It won't give me too much of a highlight this shade because it's quite dark for me, but I'm using it sort of as a blush topper. I might use the other side to highlight just the tippy tops of my cheekbones as well. As I say, I want everything to be warm and toasty. I'm just going in with the, the lighter, more champagne colour, just at the very tippy top there. Probably a little bit on my nose as well. So I'm going to prime with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, as I've been doing all week for these looks. So guys, have you got this palette? Do you collect these Metal Tin palettes from Too Faced? I've got the peach one, sweet peach one, whatever it was called, and I've got the chocolate bonbons one as well, and I've got this one. I really don't own too much Too Faced, as I say. It's not, not my favourite brand anymore. All right, so now that's done, I'm going to go in with my lower lash line and my waterline first. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Torch, one of their 24-7 pencils. This is the warmest and toastiest pencil. It's perfect for the look I'm going to do today. So I'm just taking that into my waterline and on my lower lash line pretty liberally. There was a time when I didn't do my makeup without using this pencil. Before I discovered the LH Cosmetics ones, these are the ones I used all the time. And I do still love a lot of the colours. Mars, Deep End, uh, Woodstock, which is a pink one. I'm never without those. I always have those in my... My collection. All right, just going to smudge that out a bit. Just give me that base for the lower lash line that I'm looking for. Okay, for the eyes then, I think we're going to go straight in with the shade Gingerbread. So this one here, and because I'm doing quite a neutral look, I'm going to go in with a nice big fluffy brush because I don't feel like you need to be nearly so precise when you're doing a neutral look. So just going from inner to outer throughout my crease with the shade. And I'm not gonna put so much depth into this look. I always make my looks quite dark in the outer V, but I want this one to, to be a bit lighter. It's gonna have a liner with it, but we'll just stick to more of the gingerbread warm tones today. So that's a really nice color. I don't know how neutral this is going to end up. It's probably more orange leaning than a neutral look, but neutral for me. I think orange is a neutral, right? <laughs> Just going to take gingerbread latte now, this one here. This is going to reflect horribly off my ring light throughout the whole video <laughs> because of that mirrored background. I'm just going to go slightly above the colour I've already laid down and just use that one. I don't know if they're that different in tone, to be honest with you. If you've got any sort of warm tone shadows, you'll be able to recreate this look. You don't need, need this palette to do it. For my outer V, I'm going to go in with Spices Nice, so the orange in the palette. I'm just going to put that there in the outer corner, just to give us something to blend the shimmers into, so we don't want that to go too far out. I'm just going to gently run that under my lower lash line as well so I've just got what's left on the brush now just blending that ginger red shade that we started with just up a little bit higher in this outer corner I think that will look a bit more flattering lift my eye a little bit one thing I wouldn't have done when I had this palette is use NYX glitter primer I think that might be a game changer for these shimmers so we're going to do that with a really stained concealer brush because I think I used a green shadow last time I used this. I can never get green out of my brushes. So we're going in with that Spice of Life shade, this one here. I'm going to put that in the outer part here. 
Well, it's a pretty colour. It's like an old gold kind of colour. Taking that to about two thirds of the way across, so that one's going to be the the main shimmer in this look. There's a lot of fallout from that shade, but it was easy to dust away. It's really pretty. Taking that a little bit into my crease, and I'm going to work to blend that in the crease now. Just taking a bit more of the gingerbread shade just to help me to do that. And then on the inner part of my lids here and kind of wrapping around into my lower lash line and inner corner, I'm going to go with warm and toasty, the gold one here. really want to make this a nice warm toasty look. Change my mind for the inner corner. I think I'm going to go with spiked eggnog. So this one here, it's just giving us that little pop of lightness in the inner corner. It's going to bring gingerbread a little bit further in towards my nose. I think we lost some of that when we were blending out the crease there. Okay, so that's everything with the eye look to this point. Just going to hop off camera to do a green wing. I'm going to use a Stay Perfect liquid liner from number seven to do that. Apply some mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you this warm and toasty look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Super simple to create. I think anyone could do this one. And if you're running short of time on Christmas morning, I think it's perfect because it is warm and toasty vibes and yeah, fluttering to most people, I think. So to finish it off, I've gone with a liquid lipstick from Anastasia. This one's in the shade Bittersweet. It was from the lip vault that they did when they did dark neutrals and light neutrals. I think that was about two years ago. I used to love it when they brought these vaults out because the liquid lips are normally £20 each and I think they're about £80 for uh, 10 of the lipsticks so really really good buy for those so I've got a lot of them but don't think they did it this year but even so love this shade I think it's got that sort of deep chocolatiness about it it's going to go for an orange and then I thought no that's too like full vibes so I thought I'd go for a, a deeper more chocolatey sort of tone to complement the orange on the eyes. Hope you enjoyed seeing it come together and also seeing the Ginger Breast Spice palette in action again. If you've got this one, drop me a comment. Is there a gingerbread man emoji? Maybe there's not, but something orange or whatever in the comments to let me know that you own this palette. And I just want to thank you so much for all your support on the videos this week. Hope you've been enjoying seeing all of the, the festive looks come together. Got one more for you tomorrow. Not sure if I'm going to be able to film on Christmas Eve or not, but definitely one tomorrow. And in tomorrow's, we're going to be using the BH Cosmetics Miss Claus The Lit List palette. And I'm planning to do something a lot more frosty in that one. I've not really done anything silvery or, or frosty vibes, so that's going to be tomorrow's video. But thank you so much for watching this one. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you might consider subscribing before you go. But other than that, guys, hope you're keeping safe and well and having a lovely day or night wherever you are. Catch you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>